Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I'm really excited about this one because I can't wait to show you what we got at the most recent JBF consignment sale that we just went to. So if you're interested in seeing what we got and how much we spent, then stick around. You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours And you're taking me let's just jump right in here and get started I'm gonna do clothes first so we can get these out of the way and then we'll show you everything else I'll also tell you the prices as we go so the first item we got is this three to six month um, Seahawks onesie and this is the only thing we got for River he's a month and a half now this was three dollars and we don't need any clothes for him honestly at least up through six month size and he's still in newborn clothing right now. So we have a while. The next sale is in two months. So we're going to kind of save his for that sale. Now the rest of this sack is Bailey's stuff. And she also, she needed a Seahawks jersey. She outgrew hers and passed hers down to Quinn. So this one was $10 and it's seriously in like new condition. Definitely a great deal. All of this is a great deal. So I won't say that anymore because you'll probably get tired of hearing that. All right, summer stuff. That was what she needed the most of, same with Quinn. Um, so I got a lot of shorts for her and tank tops and things like that. This was $6 and it's a two pack of jeans. They are, this one's Cherokee and this one's Vigos jeans, Vigos, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but this front one here has the little lace ruffles on the bottom and then the back one has the hearts on the pockets. So $6, $3 each for some jean shorts. Then these jean shorts are Justice and they have the waistband, like the stretchy waistband and they were $4. These are new with tags, Cat and Jack. They're normally $15 and I got them for $6.50. They have these really cute lace detail on the bottom and then the like raw edges there and I like how they're a little bit longer they're not like super short shorts so those will be nice for her and all of the cat and jack ones are adjustable waistband which I really find important because Bailey is so skinny that they're all just so big for her if they don't have the adjustable waistband and then these are both champion brand athletic shorts they were three dollars each and they have the like spandex kind of bottom and then the flowier outside shell so those were super cute she wears them a lot for dance um, playing outside whatever the case may be we're going camping soon and she'll use them for during the day there too this was two dollars and 25 cents for two pair of shorts and they're kind of like the sweatpant material and they have the drawstring so there's a purple one and a pink one and then this is a thermal outfit so it was five dollars and it's the 32 degrees brand um i got this mainly for her for when we go camping at the ocean in a couple weeks and it's gets a little chilly at night so i figured this would be really nice for her to have on for as like pajamas or underneath something if she gets really cold and then she can also use these underneath her snow gear and stuff this winter and be able to keep warm that way i did get bailey a couple pajamas um, these ones were two dollars and it's just shorts and then pants they both are like new condition and they're like thin material so she has a lot of pajamas that are like long sleeve tops and pants that are a little thicker so she needed a little bit more cooler kind of thin material so I grabbed those and then these were five dollars for this three-piece set it has the t-shirt the like long shorts and then the heart pants that go with it as well so a three pack for five dollars and then some tank tops um we're gonna go back to shorts too in a little bit because this is all messed up but tank tops this one was two dollars and fifty cents and it's so brand so i've never heard of it but it's a rainbow tank for just kind of simple summer wear this cat and jack tank top was only one dollar so I grabbed that one as well it's a cute light green color this is also so brand and it was three dollars and it has kind of like a metallic 
heart on it. She really loves this one. Back to a couple shorts. So this was only $2.75 for two pair of shorts. This front one is kind of like an athletic material, like a dry fit material. And then the back one is, is more of like a cotton and it has this pink band that she can fold down as well. And then I got her, I got each of them two dresses. They really don't need dresses, but I couldn't resist. This one was only $2. And it's just a super cute basic dress, but it has this lime green on the bottom. So it's Seahawks colors, which is awesome. She can wear it for game days or just casually just because, because it's not like an in-your-face Seahawks item. This was $2.50. And I originally, like, it, I was drawn to it, the floral pattern on it. And then I was like, mm, is it too, like, old looking? And... I just picture her wearing this with like a pair of like skinny jeans and she would rock it so I just got this because it was cheap it's lightweight and she needs that for summer speaking of skinny jeans these are more jeggings but these were three dollars and it's the Jimboree brand and they're the stretchy jeggings that have the pockets on the back so they look more like jeans and she really loves leggings she pretty much lives in leggings because they fit her so much better than jeans do. Um, so I got this pair as well. This one was $2, Faded Glory brand. They're just black and they have sparkles on them. So she has a pair of black ones already, but I thought it'd be kind of nice to have sparkly ones, kind of dress up a little bit. And then I mentioned we're going camping, so she needed a couple more pair of sweatpants, like warmer pants to wear. So these ones were $3.50 and they're the Dan Skin brand. And they're kind of like that weathered gray look and most importantly they have this drawstring so that we can tighten them on her if they are too big at the waist all right this is probably one of my favorite things that we got her it looks weird because it's on a big giant hanger but it was only four dollars and it's children's place and it's just this flowy blouse it's a little bit see-through so she'll wear a tank top underneath it but it will look so cute with some skinny jeans and I love it she kind of gave me a surprise face when I took it out so I think she loves it too the next thing is pink republic brand and it was two dollars and it's this light pink with white stripes a three-quarter sleeves again it's super thin and lightweight for summer evenings this one I had to get. I couldn't resist. We watched the um, space launch together and Bailey was just so into it. She was asking all sorts of questions and this was $3 Mad Engine Girls brand. Brand new. Give me some space with the NASA logo on it. This one is Arizona Jean brand. It was $3.50 and it's just this basic cute pink lace t-shirt with the built-in tank top underneath. And I wanted to get her a couple things that are could be dressed up a little bit more because I like to pull from their closets for pictures and stuff instead of always buying new outfits. It saves us a ton of money. So I definitely was on the lookout for items we could use for that. This is Papaya brand and it was $3.50. It doesn't even look like it's ever been worn. Um, it's a hooded t-shirt with this flower print and it's a zip up. So it's got the hood there and the flower print in the, in the hood as well. And then I got these jeans, which I think this was the most expensive single clothing item I got, which was $6. And they're Cat and Jack. And they're a light blue color. And I these were right next to each other. And I just kind of like the blue in the flowers on here match the blue in the pants. So it's a super cute outfit. And then, of course, they can each individually be worn with other stuff as well. This Bailey has already worn, so the tag's not on it, but it was $3.50. It's Jumping Beans brand, and it's this mermaid tank top. This is a pinky brand. It was $2, and it's this navy blue tank top. It's really flowy, and it has the kind of keyhole cutout on the back there, and it's like a high-low, so it's lower in the back and higher in the front. So those will be cute, especially with those jean shorts. I kind of like to live vicariously through my kids when it comes to clothing. <laughs> um, I've offered them to come with me and choose things, but they don't want to shop there for three, four hours. So they just said I can pick it all and that makes me happy. 
and then last thing for Bailey is this dress she actually picked this I had a few dresses laid out and I knew I wasn't gonna get many so I FaceTimed them and let them choose which one they liked the best this one was only four dollars and it's also kind of a high low pink skirt with the chevron top so and she has a dress very similar to this just different colors that she's almost grown out of and it's her favorite one so I had a feeling she was gonna pick this one okay so those are all of Bailey's clothes now we will move on to Quinn's this one was two dollars and fifty cents it's a cat and jack brand and it's a sweater but it's a really thin almost see-through kind of sweater so for cooler summer days or summer nights around the bonfire this will be perfect this one actually could probably fit Bailey or Quinn but I got it for Quinn it was three dollars and fifty cents and I don't know what brand it is, but it says girls can do anything. This is my favorite clothing item that I got. It is so cute. It was $4. It's an Afton Street brand. And it's this long sleeve with this like leather black pocket on the front. And it has like white and black stripes. Again, it's super thin, lightweight will be perfect for cooler days and I love this one I would totally wear something like that this was a good find it's brand new with the tag still on it um, it's Old Navy brand and it was only two dollars and fifty cents and it's got a rainbow and it says color outside the lines and I'm telling you that is the perfect shirt for Quinn it fits her personality to a T then this is the dress that she had picked out and it was five dollars it's Cat and Jack brand and it's got like a kind of fluffy tutu material skirt and the butterfly sequin top. All right, so here's a stack of shorts that I got for Quinn. I got these ones. These ones were only 50 cents. Um, they're Old Navy brand and they're perfect for wearing like underneath dresses. So that's what I got these for. They're a little bit more thin so she doesn't get so hot. And then these, it was $5 for two of them. They're Cat and Jack and jumping beans. So these pink ones are jumping beans. They're just light pink shorts. And then these are Cat and Jack um, jean shorts with polka dots on them. And everything just fell. All right, so the next one, these are Sonoma brand shorts. They're $4.50 and they don't even look worn. The back are just plain pockets with the front. She loves these. They have rainbows and a little sunshine and hearts on them she freaked out when i showed her those and then this pair of shorts was three dollars and fifty cents brand new with tags still normally it's five dollars so it's definitely savings and these are those sweat pants like cotton um feeling shorts and then these two this was five dollars for the set and this one is a zero poser brand the purple just purple with white stripes and then these ones in the front are nikes so i would have paid five dollars just for those but i got two so they are super cute this is an outfit i got for her and it's an under armor brand outfit it has the gray tank top and it says girl boss with the under armor symbol and then the pink under armor shorts for four dollars and fifty cents total for the whole outfit then this shirt is a Crazy 8 brand, $4.50, brand new, and it says Smile. Again, that fits Quinn perfectly, her personality. I love this one as well. It's a Children's Place brand, and it was $2.50. Just a super cute, flowy, white, um, blue tank top with white polka dots. Then this is a two pack of Old Navy tank tops for $4. So we've got the um, purple and white like thicker stripes here. And then we've got the rainbow stripes on the front. Um, I think Bailey's is very similar to that. So they could kind of be matching if they wanted to. <laughs> and then I got her two sets of pajamas. Um, this one is Disney. Disney. So they're both Disney store and they were $3 each. One's Elsa and one's Alice in Wonderland and they come with the shorts as well. I wish I could have found some pajamas like this for Bailey, like shorts and short sleeve shirts, but they just didn't have many. 
Um, I only got Quinn one pair of pants. Uh, she's basically set, but she's such a color color lover. And I found these for $1, so I couldn't not get those for her. They are, what brand? Faded Glory brand. And then the last thing for Quinn is this Cherokee brand dress, and it was $2 with white polka dots on it. Okay, that is all the clothing items. So now we're gonna do shoes, and I will do Bailey's first. She just needed a few pair of sandals and a pair of like sneakers or tennis shoes to put on. Um, she has a couple already, but she was growing out of them. So she picked these Crocs out actually. Um, they're pretty new condition and they have the little like clips that you can attach onto them. And we get these for camping every year because if they wanna wear their footy pajamas, these can just slide right on we get like one size too big so that they can just slide their foot right into them walking around the campsite or if they have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night or something like that these are perfect for that then she got for four dollars and fifty cents these children's place butterfly sandals they don't even look like they've been worn these were four dollars they're the wonder nation brand they have like the jean material with the cute little like gray and pink on the back of them on the heel. So really good condition as well. A brand new pair of Old Navy flip flops for $2 and I know they have like a dollar sale every year like where you can get them for a dollar but they were $2 and they were there so I grabbed those. But my favorite shoe find for her are these Under Armour slides. They were only $4. And they are so cute, really good condition. Um, you can tell they were barely worn, but they're pink and purple. These are her favorites as well. And then for Quinn, she is set on sandals. And so we got her a few tennis shoes. So we got her the same pair of the Wonder Nation shoes. Hers were $5.50, um, but they're the gray. They, these ones are gray instead of the jean color. And then we got her these Fila, I may be pronouncing that wrong, I don't know, I think it's Fila, but they were $5. They're super cute, like a blush pink color. Again, really good condition, and I got some like it for me that I'll show you in a minute too. <laughs> and then these ones are a little bit big for her, but they were only $6.50. They're O2 Air, um, the Athletic Works brand and they're brand new and so they still have the tags on them and everything they could fit her they do fit her right now they're just a little bit big but i figured these will be perfect for winter for her because she's not far from being able to comfortably wear them and then last i couldn't find any crocs for her um, in her size or the size up and so i got her these black and pink north side sandals they're kind of like keen knockoffs for four dollars to be able to kind of have like slide them on and wear them around camp um, flip flops work around camp, but they slide off or they get like dirt in them and stuff. So hope, hoping these will be a little bit better. All right. That is all the shoes. Um, I'm going to show you the mommy Mart items. They have a mommy Mart section and I always check that out. So I grabbed a few items there for our household and for myself. So this is a Wilson mini muffin baking pan for $4 and I've been wanting to make uh, mini muffins for the girls there's these like vegetable mini muffins um and my mini muffin pan has like eight i think it's eight spots so it would take forever just to kind of make enough so i needed another one of those and i've been looking at them on amazon and stuff so it was perfect that that one was there the shoes that i mentioned that i got for myself they're a via brand memory foam on the bottom and they were only six dollars and they maybe were worn like once the bottoms are in great condition and they're slip-ons which is great with three kids one of them being a newborn <laughs> it's nice to have quick easy slip-on shoes i also picked up this berry ave um broom and tool holder organizer for four dollars and fifty cents because we are going to do a garage clean out soon so um stay tuned for that because we've done a couple of them before but we kind of were just trying to use what we had and finally buckled down and bought 12 new totes and I'm gonna label everything and kind of just finally go through it and make it all organized instead of just th stuff thrown on shelves. 
So this would be nice to organize all the yard tools. And then the last thing I got from the Mommy Mart for $2 was this super cute basket. I don't really feel like you can ever have enough baskets. It was cheap and I'll find some way to use that to help with our storage and organization. So now I'm gonna show you the like sporting goods item and then I have one toy that we got for a birthday present for somebody. The first we got both of the girls roller blades. So these were for Bailey, they're Schwinn black and pink ones and they were $20. They're really, really, really good condition. So she's gonna love those. We had actually got her some roller blades for her birthday off Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace. Um, and we gave them to her for her birthday and everything. And then once she tried them on, we realized it didn't have the back padding on it. It was just this plastic piece. It was missing. I reached out to the lady who sold them to us and she felt so bad. She offered to like bring us foam to fix them with. And um, they were like, I think we paid like $5 for them. So I wasn't worried about it, but I did want to get her some because it was a birthday present. So we found those. And then for Quinn, we got these ones. These ones were $15. And they are, what brand? Uh, Chicago Skates brand. So they're pink, white, and green. And both of these Baileys and Quinn's are both adjustable for sizes. So they'll fit them for a while, which is great. It was well worth the $35 total that we spent on them. I don't think you could get a pair of new roller blades for like even a single pair for 35. And then the toy item we got um, are these straw builders. And we got these for Bailey for her birthday and they played out in the yard with them, all the like straws and connectors. They built crazy like contraptions. I will link some of these down, the ones we bought from Amazon, I will link it down below. But my nephew Hale was in love with these things. I'm serious, this kid has so much energy, but it was like, he almost wasn't even there. He was just playing with these and so into building them. And his birthday's coming up in October, so. Um, we got him these. It was $8 for the set and it has different colors and the connectors in each different bag. So he can make lots of fun things and it has like ideas and stuff as well. So that is for him. I'll probably package it up nicer just so they're not like in Ziploc bags, but <laughs> um, it works for now. All right, for River and my nephew Cooper and even probably Quinn because she loves swinging and baby swings for some reason. We got this little type swing, um, very good condition. It was only $8. These are $25 to $30 if you buy them brand new. So Anthony spotted this and grabbed that. Then we got River, two things for his car seat. One is a mirror and one is the little car seat toy. He didn't have one of these. I totally forgot about them and I just spotted them there. So we got that. And then we have a mirror for him, but it doesn't stay pointed how we need to point it. So this one goes on and then it tilts. So it's gonna be perfect because it will actually stay at the angle we need it to be at. All right, and then the last category of stuff are games, books, homeschool stuff, all of that. And this, we spent a lot more this time on this stuff than we do normally, but there was a lot of stuff that was really good for our homeschool and so we just went for it. I'm going to show you the books first and then I'll show you the game. So first of all, this is just for, this was just for Bailey. These are Ivy and Bean books. They were $2 each. She, she has the set of, I think books one through four. Um, this was book six and seven. I couldn't find five, but she's already read book six all the way through in one night and she wants book seven tonight, but I told her I needed to film this. So she's going to read this one tomorrow. I'm sure. The next thing I got is what your second grader needs to know. Um, this book is by E.D. Hirsch Jr. I got, I saw this on a homeschool mom's YouTube video. I can't remember who it was or if I, if I remember, I'll link it down below. But um, this book is amazing. I got the what your kindergarten needs to know for Quinn from Amazon. But they, I didn't want to buy their, I think it was like $30, $25 or $30. And I didn't want to buy both of them. I didn't want to buy the second grader one for Bailey because I feel like she's pretty far ahead of where she needs to be anyway. So I didn't think it'd be necessary, but I found this one there and it was $1. So I was so excited. It was perfect. Um, I'll probably do a flip through of these books when I do my homeschool curriculum video 
this next week so make sure you're subscribed and click the like and notification bell so that you know when that goes up the other book i got that's kind of like for me but also for them is the five love languages of children and i had been wanting to read this for a long time i totally forgot about it and then a friend of mine posted on facebook how she had just finished reading it and it reminded me of it and then i see it for two dollars at jbf so i'm excited to read this one i'm always trying to find better more peaceful calm ways to parent our children and be able to kind of hear and understand what they're saying and thinking and feeling so that will be really good this one is called the bermuda triangle the disappearance of flight 19 it was a dollar and bailey saw this and wanted it she um they anthony and the girls met river and i there for a couple hours um after i was done volunteering one night so she saw that and asked if we could get it the next one, Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls, number two. This was $3. She is normally 35. So she um, has number one and has read it all the way through cover to cover several times, has learned so much. She always talks about the different people in the book and what they accomplished. So number two is for her. Then this one was normally $14.99. It's an Usborne Lift the Flap Question and Answers and it was three dollars and it hasn't even been used the flaps are still like brand new um, and it's just questions and answers about science so that'll be nice for our homeschool uh anthony and i were both super excited about this find so this is a 14 pack of the highlights puzzle mania books for four dollars and these i think there were like a few pages total out of all of them that were done yeah there's really hardly any pages that were done um at all so this will be really nice for the next book is this frozen book for quinn it was a dollar fifty and she's obsessed with frozen right now it just kind of goes through and elaborates on some of the stuff in there it's called the essential guide featuring all the lyrics from the film songs she loves to sing. Um, I figured that would be really good for her. This one I also got for Quinn. So I got each of them two. I got Bailey those two, Ivy and Bean, and then I got Quinn the Frozen and the Pocahontas. Pocahontas was $2, and it is just the story of Pocahontas. This is one of the few Disney books that we don't have. So we have that one, and they've been kind of wanting to watch that more often. And then this one I got for read alouds during the school year. So while the girls are sitting and eating breakfast, I'll read it aloud to them and it's the Aesop for children. It was only $2 and it has all of the Aesop's fables, um, 112 pages worth. So that will keep us busy for read alouds. So those are all of the books. Um, kind of a science thing, I got this root viewer. So you plant whatever you wanna plant into these tubes and you can see the roots forming so that you can kind of actually see what's going on we did a botany unit um this past homeschool year but i think i'm going to go through it again because they were super interested in it and we only have two units planned for this next year so i think we're going to have time to add in a third and instead of buying a new one i think i'm going to go through that one again next spring so that will be useful here um, i think there were some things that i'd like i would have liked to do um, as extras with that unit that we didn't get to so we're gonna re retry that this game is the brain quest smart game it was five dollars and i thought this one looked really cool it's learn as you play and each card has grade levels one through six so you spin and like say you get on the back here it says science you get a science question um, on the spinner and I would ask the first grade one which is does the earth have more land or more water on its surface um, I might ask the second grade one for Bailey which cannot be alive an animal a vegetable or a mineral so it's just questions that go along with the grade level the sixth grade one are our inner skeleton <clears throat> Our inner skeletons called endoskeletons, exoskeletons, or nanoskeletons. So that would be the sixth grade level science question. So that'll be fun. We really love playing board games as a family, and I really wanted to get more that involved like learning that we can play. This one is a super old one. It was seven dollars, but it's three games in one. Um, it's just called three primary math games. So there's a minus maze, there's some buddies, and there's time out. So addition, subtraction, and time clocks. So that will be good for both of them, actually. 
Then this one is more for Quinn. It was $2 and it's called Sight Words Pizza, which will be really fun for her to play and work on her sight words. Um, this one, I wasn't, I almost put it back. I actually did set it back down and then I kind of grabbed it again. It was only $3.50 though, so I ended up grabbing it, but it's made for trade, a game of early American life. So we'll play this one and let you know how it goes. I have no idea what to expect, honestly. This one is more for Quinn. It's a learning resources alphabet marks the spot floor game and it's $4.50. So it looks, it doesn't say, but it comes with um, five inflatable picture cubes and then this mat with the alphabet on it um, and then some game markers. So you roll and the picture cubes have pictures of different things on them like a balloon or a duck. So you roll and then I'm guessing you like splat the letter that it starts with. We could do the letter that it ends with. Um, we could do like spell it out. Um, I don't know. We'll play around with it and have different ways of playing that game then this one is for ages five plus so both girls can play with it it's a mental blocks brain boosting block building fun and it's a 3d puzzle game and it was only five dollars so it comes with balls blocks different shapes and then cards and you have to match up the building from the card with the 3d objects that you have I got a couple games for Quinn um, to play for reading purposes. So Short Vowel Fun and Alphabet Go Fish. Those are the two that I got for us to play. This one was $3 and this one was $2. And Bailey will probably play these with us too, honestly. She loves that kind of stuff. Um, and then the last one is the Chocolate Chip Math Game for $2. And it's got a board and it's got addition and subtraction problems along the board and you work through it. And that's all of the games. The last thing that I forgot to show you is this Radio Flyer three-wheel scooter for Quinn. And it was only $8. She has a two-wheel scooter but isn't quite confident on it yet. So we wanted her to have one of those for camping that she could roll around on. So that is our JBF haul. We spent $411.32 on this. But we've already made back $60 from what we are selling just from the first day, the pre-sale. So we'll probably make back a couple hundred of that. And I'm really happy with what we got and what we spent. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. But for now, remember to stay humble, be kind, and we'll see you next time. Jump into the car on a